This one is a Mermaid Bakiko X regular listener, and there will be a part two to this. Now let's begin. Your POV. Today I decided to go on a walk at the beach since work had been exhausting. It was a cool and sunny evening in early July. The sky was clear and some thick clouds moved. Oh gosh. I'm sorry. Hardly away from the scorching sun. The waves crashed against the uncompl- oh my God. uncomplaining shore as I walked along the warm and crunchy sand. My head was a oh my gosh, pure, so I started to walk towards it. Reaching closer and closer to the edge of the pier, I noticed that the water was unmoving. No one was on the pier, so it was a quiet place to relax. Wearing a black and white swimming costume with a pair of heavy blue shorts, and a small bag carrying my socks, shoes, phone, etc. Finally, I reached the end of the pier. I sat down, my legs dangling over the edge, and my feet underneath, I'm not going, underwater. Me. All my worries go away. I was finally in peace, hearing the small waves hitting the pier, and the wind cooling me down. I felt calm and relaxed until something touched my feet. In a panic, I looked down and saw nothing. So I thought I was imagining it and put them back in the coastal blue sea. Yet the touch returned and again I looked down. There was nothing there. I thought it was some kind of kid playing a prank on me. So I laid down on my belly and looked under the pier. Nothing was there. No? Now I was scared. Was it a deadly sea creature or in my imagination? As I st oh my God, started to get back up, something caught my attention. As orange fish tail came into view, was that the thing that touched me? I thought then it went down under. I thought it had left until a figure popped into view. He looked deeply into my eyes. It had a human face, yet it was not a human. When I saw its ears, what the fuck? I whispered to myself as the creature started to come closer, inching its way towards my face. When it stopped and drive back under the gloomy water, wanting to see the mysterious creature again, I went closer until my nose touched the cold water. And then it happened again. As quickly as it went down, it jumped high from the water and grabbed a hold of me. His grip on my arms tightened. As I jumped, I had a glimpse of an orange fish tail came up. Then I saw it was connected with the creature's body, like a merman. I, oh my god. I got pulled out of my thoughts, literally, as the bird pulled me into the water. I started to squirm, but a growl came from the mouth before water enveloped my hearing and vision. I was underwater with the merman. I tried keyboard tied to swim to the surface. The merman got a hold of me. My cheeks puffed up because of the lack of air as I stared, in, stared into the deep red eyes of the merman. But now I struggled to breathe and he seemed to notice and let go of me. I swam up and ended up under the pier. I got the water out of my eyes and started to look around. Huh. Trying to get a glimpse of the merman again that had a beautiful tail attached. Then I saw it, well, him. As the being came up to the surface, half of his head popped out of the water. 
I could clearly see his ash blonde hair with some pointy ears and red eyes staring back at mine. As we continued to stare at one another, my foot lightly touched his tail. That made him mad. He hissed angrily and ducked back down under the water, out of my sight. No, wait. And he's gone, I said, disappointedly. I look around once more, but he was nowhere in sight. Then the light touch was felt on my leg once more. In shock, I swam away from it, yet it happened again on my other leg. Then a firm hand was on my ankle. To get a better view of it, I ducked my head under water and came face to face with the merman again. I had to say, he was beautiful. No, s oh my gosh. No stretch that. Gorgeous. He suddenly came closer and still had a grip on my ankle. It was so close that our foreheads touched. His skin was cold as ice, yet it was warm as well. I can't really explain it. Katsuki Bakugo, he suddenly said in a deep voice. I was so shocked. My lips parted, and then I remembered I was still underwater. I was about to go up and swim, but he kissed me. Yes, he kissed me. His hands let go of my ankle and went to my cheek, his other hand joining the other side as well. He parted from my lips, and I quickly covered my mouth. And the wired thing was, weird thing was, oh, I'm so sorry. I was breathing underwater. I looked at him in surprise. Just, he just looked at me. How did you, magic dumbass. I swam, uh, oh God, I backed or swam away from him and he just crossed his arms. You're a merman, merman but how? They're not real, just mythical creatures. I'm so confused right now. I I mean, how can I breathe and talk underwater? My, oh my God, my mumbles came to a stop as he closed my mouth. I noticed his hand was some sort of webbing in between each finger and had sharp claws at the end. Fucking hell, stop that. Jesus Christ, you're giving me a headache, he said and glared at me and again at his face was very close to mine. I could feel my cheeks turn warm because of the closeness. He studied with me he studied me with his eyes. Taking in my features, he started a circle around me. His tail brushed against my leg and arms. It honestly felt really uncomfortable. Humans are fucking weird, he mumbled to himself. I still thought I was dreaming, so I asked again are you actually real? He stopped in front of me and sat and frowned at me, thinking, am I as dumb as hell? For the hundredth time, yes, he screamed at me. Yet when, God, yet when he heard footsteps and whispering on the pier above, he quieted down in an instant. He looked, He looked panicked and uncertain. He looked back at me again, held my shoulders, looked me in the eyes, and said, I normally don't ask this, but I need your help, and fast. <laughs>